Deep in the winter of 2018, Indiana mom Briley Jones had an incredible experience. She went for a warming shower and what happened after confounded medical professionals and delivered a truly heartwarming story. Jones is a hairdresser from the small town of Carlisle in Sullivan County, Indiana, with a remarkable tale to town, been told that she would never conceive for medical reasons. The young woman had an ovarian dysfunction, which meant that her body wasn't producing hormones normally. So Jones was under the impression that she had no chance of ever having a family of her own. However, Jones was to prove the doctors wrong. Just three months after being told that having children would not be an option, she found out that she and her partner, Jad and Vest, were expecting, and it would prove to not be the last time medical professionals attending Jones are mistaken. Indeed, a bigger surprise was in store a few months later when the Motob's due date approached. It was one late wintry weekend in January 2018 when Jones started to feel what she thought were contractions. She probably did what you're meant to do if you feel these precursors to labor and presented herself at a nearby hospital, but the medics there did not think that she was far enough gone to keep her in. Consequently, the hospital sent Jones back through the snow to Carlisle as the doctors had decided that her contractions were not close enough together. But when Jones returned home, the tightening and squeezing sensations did not stop. The mom toe was in a little discomfort all night long, but it was her back which was causing her the most problems. However, all this time, Jones believed the doctors and did not think she was properly in labor. In fact, later in January 2018, she told local news website mywabashfully.com how she wasn't feeling all that much pain. It didn't register to me, she recalled. But the next morning, Monday, January 15, something happened which cast all doubt aside. Jones went to wash and freshen up, and it turned out to be a shower that she would remember forever. That is because right in the middle of getting washed, she realized that something else was going on. Within just a few minutes, Jones had given birth to her baby boy right there in the shower stall. Joan's brother heard a commotion and ran to the bathroom door, asking, are you okay? The answer must have seemed obvious, but Jones responded, no, Patrick, don't come in here. It was too late, however, and her brother burst through the door to be confronted by the sight of his brand new nephew. Jones later described Patrick's reaction. He opened the shower door and he was like, oh crap, you had a baby. He ran out the door. Patrick was in fact running for help. He dialed 911 and asked for an ambulance. My sister just had a baby in the shower, he said to the operator over the phone. Thankfully, however, his sister and her baby boy were fine for the moment. Fortuitously, Jones had recalled a couple of important pieces of information from her high school days. Jones knew from a child development lesson that a newborn's airways needed to be cleared. She spoke to the TV news magazine show Inside Edition shortly after the surprise event. I knew to suck out his mouth because of the class, and I knew that you needed to make sure he was breathing okay and that his color was okay, she said. Despite the high drama of the birth, she remembered the lowdown of what to do on delivery. And what is more, Jones gave birth in the middle of a winter storm. She described it as your average everyday snow day. But mom and baby did eventually get taken to a different hospital from the one that had sent her home the day before. Yet before the time came for Jones to return home from the Sullivan County Community Hospital with her newborn, nearby news outlets had got a hold of the story. Simoon, the new mom, was happily giving interviews from her hospital bed. A reporter from local channel WCDV10 came to meet her and the new arrival, and they learned that the baby boy had been given a very appropriate first name. You see, Jones had named her son Matthew Christopher Vest, and the reason why. He's perfect. In fact, Jones had first decided to call her son Matthew when she made the surprise discovery that in spite of what the doctors had said, she was pregnant when I came up with Matthew's name, because Matthew means gift from God, so to me, he was a gift. And Jones chose the middle name Christopher. 